All right, shooting fans, I just got back from the range and I wanted to share my results with you. I had a little fun trying to see how I could help steel stop an AR-15 round, a 223 round. So, here's what I started with. I bought some steel. This is some um, 12 gauge, it's a tenth of an inch, mild steel. Cut it into 8 by 8 squares. Wanted to make it uh, a little more realistic like I was shooting a structure first. So, put a piece of wood and a piece of sheetrock. I built this cute little box. Wood, sheetrock. Then I put four sheets of that steel. Four tenths of an inch of steel. Then a bunch of foam and a final piece of steel behind it just to, to stop anything from getting away. So, I'd been told that 3 eighths of an inch mild steel should stop an AR-15. I'm only 25 yards away. Wanted to see what would happen. So, I shot it. Shot the wood. Boom. Hit the steel. Got this flipped over. Shot the steel. Hole, 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 all the way through. Fourth sheet buckled out like its own little volcano. So, four pieces of steel. Not a lot of luck. Stopping that round. Kind of surprised me. Now it's four sheets of steel in front of eight inches of foam. But maybe the foam didn't give very much. So I pulled a sheet out of the back, slid it all the way into the back. Now I had three sheets of steel, a bunch of foam, and then steel, foam, steel. So shot it again, hit it, went through, went through. Now when I get to the third piece, Again, I'm through, but I didn't go through the fourth piece. So when I put four together, right through. When I put three and foam, then a fourth piece, look at that, made quite a dent, left a big divot. But suddenly, three sheets stopped the steel with a lot of help from the fourth sheet. So now, testing my theory, I went two sheets of steel, four inches of foam, Steel, foam, steel, foam, steel. So, what will two and some foam do before I get to the next steel? Shot again. You can see the shot in the wood. Boom. Went through the first sheet of steel. Went through the second sheet of steel. Went through the third sheet of steel. But now, not much of anything on the fourth. Just a bit of a scratch. So instead of a divot, I clearly improved. It, uh, it was pretty much out of gas on that third sheet. So, final test. Steel, foam, steel, foam, steel, foam, steel, foam, steel, foam. So five pieces of steel. What's going to happen? Went through the first one, of course. Big hole in the second one, of course. But now, guess what? The third piece of steel stopped it. Look at that. Of course, nothing on the fourth. So I'd found a way to stop an AR-15 round at 25 yards with just that third sheet of steel. So I was kind of excited by that. And I thought, what else might stop the round between steel? Because remember, I'm trying to improve steel's ability to stop. So took these big heavy cardboard rolls that they roll newspaper on, newspaper print, newsprint. And as you can see, I shot. Of course, I went right through the steel. And then with these rolls in kind of a double, uh, too deep, I mostly stopped the round. Now, I hit the one spot a couple times and I think I finally just kind of went through. But those big but lightweight rolls, though it chewed up the rolls like crazy, it really did kind of stop the rounds. So I wanted to see what would happen with just a single layer of, of the cardboard rounds. Now that isn't going to do much. 
see I threw three shots at it and two of them cruised right through but I did stop it with one I think it hit the round just the right way maybe caught a, a thicker edge by going the through the outer edge so these did pretty well I think if they were full of something gravel sand uh, who knows what they would really stop it'd be kind of a convenient way but let's face it they're not going to take a heck of a lot of shots in the same spot so now I had some real fun I said if I slow metal if I slow the bullet down with a piece of steel what could I hit next I filled this box full of rubber balls these are your typical bouncy balls, polyurethane, 20 millimeter. Fill the box up to the brim. And so I went steel, that's two inches of foam, the box of rubber balls, foam, and then another sheet of steel to catch anything going through. And as you can see, as always, the round has no trouble penetrating the, the steel, but the rubber balls stopped the rounds chewed up the rubber balls there uh, there are chunks of rubber balls falling out of the box and it's not easy on the box uh, you'd almost have to find some kind of box that had more give than cardboard but I thought that was interesting then you can see I shot this four times and the steel nice big holes right through but look not a hint of a scratch so what did i put behind this steel besides foam i put a box of golf balls that's right good old golf balls and as i i assumed that they would give and move around and absorb and boy did they ever so again you'd have to find a way to keep the box from falling apart it might take a lot of tape or something but steel to slow it down and then Look at that golf balls you can uh, you can keep around eh, not a lot of golf balls just about four inches of golf balls and not a scratch so that was pretty interesting my final test was with my uh, FN 57 I figure I've been shooting two two threes at steel out of a rifle what if I shoot the same size round in terms of diameter at steel out of a pistol. And the FN57 is supposed to have some power. Well, I went steel, foam, steel, foam, steel, foam. Didn't need to go that far. I couldn't get through the first layer of steel. Made some really cute little dimples on the back and I suppose if I kept hitting the same spot again and again and again, maybe I'd go through. But 12 gauge steel with an FN57 Maybe if it didn't have the foam backdrop, maybe if I put this up against something solid, uh, it would have been able to go through. But once I gave it the extra give of foam, not a chance. So that's my uh, testing for today. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any ideas, again, how to improve the stopping power of a little bit of steel, please let me know. Uh, I don't think sand is the right in between because sand tends to channel. But I, I do think a box of gravel or stones would also work well. Um, and then it's just a question of how thick and how you keep the box from disintegrating after a number of hits. But there's no question that golf balls work great. And it makes sense that they do because they've got uh, that ability to compress and kind of deflect. So that's my testing for today. Uh, please... Post your feedback down below. Uh, I can respond with question to questions. And uh, happy shooting! Bye bye.